Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy X Remastered with me, Tidal Titus. Um, basically what I've done since last time I've been on, um, I've grinded a lot, so we've done quite a few levels with our characters. As you can see, we also got Waka's Extractability, making grinding a lot easier. Um, basically, the, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fight the Ochi and then I'm going to go on to, um, to do Kilika Temple. Again, it's more cutscenes. There's a few good battles here, with such as Lord Urchin and a few other ones. But mostly storyline. We'll try and get through that as quick as possible. Um, as well, this is one of the Albed um, scriptures written here. It's something for Endgame. It's not something we can do just now. Um, but anyway, let's go. Company hot! <gasps> Got that, I'm the fiend before us is Ochu, Lord of the Wood. Ochu. We've had trouble with this one before. Remember, discretion is the better part of valor. Saw that, that thing's dying. Stand. And you get it out. We could throw a hundred crus. Ochu poison is a crap. Sorry, that's just truth. Um, I should be able to kill this. Even? Yeah, should be. I'm pretty sure I have most of my guys too. And it's a good way to gauge if you're strong enough, yep. At least I always, I always found it that way. If you jump. Ooh. And off we go! Uh, best idea is to use Dark Attack if it's not immune. Nah, it's immune, never mind. Some which is art, I just couldn't remember what this one was. Uh, as you can probably guess, fire it if you can't. Um, right, we're gonna switch into Titus. We're gonna use Haste on Titus. Not that special, because we've got Haste. Haste allows him to move a lot faster. Basically, see if they're in the top right corner, he's got a lot more moves than everyone else. We use our two, we can see he goes like twice with where everyone else just goes once. Get that ability spear from you. That's Gavin Teal. Uh, well, this is where Lulu goes. Eh, uh, not Lulu, Unicorn. So she can cure that poison right off it. Love the music. Sooner. Remember, if Yuna goes down, you're gonna have a hard time just because she is the white mage of the entire party. Um. Make Waka. I'm probably gonna be chipping in there. Uh, actually, before we do that, I'll lance it just in case we can get anything from this thing. I can't remember though. Nope, no, nope, that's fine. Uh, yeah, just in case. Nope, that's fine. I'm keeping her in just in case we take a bit too much damage. And you can swap it to Waka. And he'll use his overdrive. His is reels. Let's see uh, Waka's reels for the first time. Okay, try to get a red one. Yeah, we've at least we've got two reds, so that'll do a bit more damage. It's got lightning mixed in with it, so it's not the best, but it's alright. Um, Titus, we're just gonna have an attack. And you're gonna block. Alright, you know, can you heal anyone? Titus is gonna heal it. As you can see, their stats have went up because I have trained them, as I said. Um, but yeah, this, I love Ochi. I've always thought he was such a cool monster. Because he looks like a proper badass. At least from a forest kind of perspective. <laughs> Hopefully, it hits Titus and actually gets him. Oh, dude. Why do I have that feeling all of a sudden? I, can't, I don't remember everything, so if I do get a couple things wrong, I will correct myself. Uh, we need fire. I'm pretty sure fire can wake him up. Yeah. Ah, that's why he recovers HP every turn. Wake up. And now use this big special attack. Earthway! Good, I gave Titus his overdrive. Spiral cut. Ah, 253 is getting good damage off. The fact you do it, the more damage will do. There we go. So as you can see, I'm quite well trained, for my characters at least. Um, because we killed it, that usually take a lot harder, a lot longer. Uh, a large shield, a little spear. Whoa. A summoner and her guardians. Very impressive. Sir, we should fight too. We'll get our chance soon enough. Young crusaders gather around. We'll be sinning to the ground. They become quite a part of the story. Do your best, kid. But later on, and we get an elixir. Hey! Eh, no problem. <laughs> um, 
We're just gonna run to the Kelika Temple so we don't get too many encounters. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Because uh, I've done a lot of training and I'll probably do some. That won't go so easy on well. you next time. That's after the two episodes, bro. So I don't need to worry about that just now. Because as you can see, the Kelika Temple it's not the farthest away thing, but you can still get quite a few characters. Even at the very base of it. Please let's me Even escape let with no problem. Because sometimes when you press escape, they'll refuse to leave. Which is really annoying. Especially like when two of your party members die and you need him to leave, it's like, no, I didn't want to leave. What the hell? Oh, oh. These stone steps have a history, you know. Yep. Lord O'Holland trained here at his peak. A lot of people look up to Lord O'Halloran because he's a normal blitzer as well as a summer. I love Jesse's A race, tattoos. huh? Is, it, is that Jesse? Think you can beat me? Hi, <laughs> right, it's Jesse. You know, Jesse. if you would. Uh, ready! I love this. Hey! hey. <laughs> ah, huh? I love it said, hey. Waka said, hey, hey, twice, but then it was another voice. Uh, come on, did you give us a name? As you can see, nothing said, just shakes his head. <laughs> Kids. Just fill up. Just so can't use my items. Look, look <gasps> out! Everyone, quick! Sin spawn! But as you can guess from this fight, this is a sin spot. One of the things generated from sin. When sin comes, he comes and he leaves his behind. Not always, but something. Uh, I'm just going to check something. Don't think it's possible. No, don't think so. But best no safe side. Uh, uh, attack this. I'll get the other guys to attack the tech. Its tentacles absorb any spells cast at its body. Never mind. See, I do forget something. <laughs> anyway, she will come in handy, so she's gonna stay in this fight. Um, I'll do actually get Kamari in though. Kamari can attack the tentacle. Attack. Waking up. <laughs> um, Titus to attack the tentacle again. Get Kamari to attack the tentacle. And I'll switch Juno out for Lulu just because it feels better. Play. Lulu in the snow. This will make life a lot easier. I believe the tentacles regrow, so they can come back, I believe. Let's try Lance just to go on the safe side. Because there's hundreds of monsters you can get his abilities from, so I'll probably be lancing at every single monster. I've already done the ones in the corner, so I know about all of them. I only skip one tutorial by that by doing the grinding, but it's not really important, it just explains to her how he learns his abilities. It's not the best thing in the world. I like this one, it's reminding me of um, just a weird tentacle one. Uh, attack. Out of you. Attack. If I got Lulu's overdrive, this would probably be over a lot quicker. <laughs> ah, basically just fighting someone. Uh, what we do is just get rid of that. We've got given those antidotes before. Fire. 
can really overwhelm any monster, even a boss as well. As you've just seen, because I have haste and I'm quite strong. I'm not overly powered, but I'm quite strong. I can overwhelm almost all bosses that I'm facing just now, because that is the boss for this area. I really like it though. I love how even though it was in the ground and rooted in, all oh, that's still, it's all still concrete. <laughs> I love that. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope to break you in a little slower. B being a guardian's tiring. You handle yourself pretty well. You got talent. Nah. So, what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. Leave him alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That moment when Waka told me I had talent in battle. I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. Ah, uh, we got Kamari for a level. I'll do that off screen just because um, I'll if anything major comes up or any major abilities are great ones I'll show them but right now it's not really that important so I don't see a point to it. So uh, they got fiends in Xenarchan too. Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up though. Uh, hey, since when have you believed me about Xanarkand anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time. Like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Yeah, this kind of pisses hmm? her off. <laughs> you make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. It's quite shy. Oh, that. and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. I... I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. This is Kilika Temple. And just before we start going into Kilika Temple, I'll end this episode off. Um, we're just going to run through Kilika Temple and the Cloister of Trials and I'll probably end the next episode just just after and I might show um, the Aeon we get from Kilika Temple because you haven't guessed before we get uh, Aeons in every temple we go to. I'll probably showcase them off because you don't get the tutorial with every single one. Uh, but anyway, this has been fun. Uh, if you have enjoyed this episode, please remember to like, hit that like button. If you want to see more content, uh, please subscribe. If not, then oh well. Anyway, this has been Tidal Titus. It's been lovely talking to you. Have a lovely night and see ya.